Hallelujah. Lift up your hands and bless Jesus, everyone. Give him praise and glory. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. My Savior lives. Oh, my girl is gone. Because I know he was my future. My life is what I live in just. Because he Somebody lift up your hands and bless God. Because I know. Thank you. 
influence the um, anything that can quicken, that can catalyze. Are you getting me? Get dosed with it as regards to Bishop Regains 2021. Somebody was talking to me yesterday. He said, he's the bishop. He said, Bishop Regains of this year will be the best. I want you to make up your mind. Tell yourself, I cannot be part of 2021 Bishop Regrets and remain the same person I was. So that is why we don't want to be full of food. We want to be full of the Spirit. And that's why we want to discipline our flesh. Keep our flesh under. Receive one prayer and pray in one desire I strongly have in me is that all of you will receive your heart desires. Except that person is not a pastor. Every pastor, even the good and the bad. I don't know, maybe they still have the ugly. Wants the people around him to be doing well. Because that is the only thing that will be speaking to men out there. Is it not true? So whether he's a good one or a bad one, he wants the best for his people. David Nebife wants the very best for my people. So that's what we're doing every now. That's what we're going to fight some bad. We're going to fight some fights today. That's the last battle. Somebody say the last battle. The last battle. And then I have a testimony. Are you hearing me? Before the battle is even fought. The testimony is that we have already defeated. We have already defeated. Because Jesus, how did I know that we have defeated? Jesus died on the cross for our sins. Are you getting me? And not just that he died, he was buried. But the earth could not hold him. The earth couldn't hold him. The earth relinquished him on the top day. Am I talking to anybody? Yes, the earth said, No, you are more powerful than me. I can't hold you. I've been trying since the first time you entered, the first day you entered. I've been trying to keep you the same way I kept others. But this time around, I can't help it anymore. So he left him. He said, go, go, let me have rest. The enemies that vow you will never have rest. This very season, they will allow you to go your way. Amen. The chains that were stubborn all the while, you've tried everything you could, but yet they were still holding you, holding you, keeping you stagnated, getting you kept at a place. The Lord said, I should tell you, they will communicate to you and say, I am tired, I can't hold you anymore. Amen. That amen is very poor. Amen. Amen. The reason for the for bishopry grace is for grace to increase. For grace to rise. You hear people tell you, more grace, more grace. That means grace can be less and grace can be more. That's why you have the exceeding grace, great grace, except you have abundant grace. And the week we are in, the Lord spoke to me the other day. He said, it's a week of abundant grace. Yes. So we are swimming in the ocean of grace. Amen. We are living in grace at this time. Help me tell somebody, you are living in grace. grace. And not just grace, abundant grace. Grace in abundance. Grace in quantum. Grace excessively. Excess grace. Excess grace. My son answers excess fire. But here we are in excess, the era of excess war. Grace. Look at the song I'm hearing. 
Someone here, God is thinking good for you. Amen. And that's why he kept you to this time. Yes, sir. The shopping grace is your city. Amen. It belongs to you. Amen. Help me tell somebody, the shopping grace belongs to me. The shopping grace belongs to me. A lot of people will be coming from all walks of to be blessed. Are you hearing me? People will be coming, and our people will be coming back. There was, a lot of them will come from Lagos, come from different parts of the, 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 the world. Some of them will connect, uh, you know, on the media. But you are the ones here walking earnestly to make sure the shopping grace is brought live. And so, Bishop of Grace belongs to you. Amen. Someone say, it's my own. It's my own. Say, it's my very own. It's my very own. Nobody will tell you the story of Bishop of Grace. Amen. No one is telling you the story. Amen. You will tell you the story yourself. Yes, sir. Is it not time you begin to tell the story of a good thing, a good event, a good happening, a good miraculous thing that happened? Is it not time you begin to tell the story? Most people tell the story every time on your behalf. Help me tell someone, tell the story. Say it this way, say now, tell the story. Amen. Amen. I'm hearing something. Someone here at the sound of my voice. You are crying for a miracle. You are crying for a testimony. And I heard something. I heard a voice that said, tell him, tell her, he will be the first to testify. Amen! Marvelous God. Thou alone art worthy to be praised. Hey! Marvelous God, now we learn at what Lift up your hand, just take a little time out and bless God. Can you, can you, can you, can you just bless God? Can you just wave your hand? Can you just bless God? is here. That will testify. Amen. Chimle. 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 To be praised, you're the miracle in my life today. Chimle, 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 Let me tell somebody something. 
you've been having what is called testimony drought. It's been long you give a, a, an outstanding testimony. There's what is called testimony, there's what is called testimony. It's been long you give an outstanding. Sometimes it gives you trouble. But this is it. God says you are the first to testify. Amen. And let me shock you. You are testimony. You are own testimony. We will provoke other testimonies in the life of him. Is anybody, is anyone here in the atmosphere of joy? Yes, sir. Are you in the atmosphere of joy? Yes, sir. Why? Because the shopping grace is right here. Amen. And I shall be the first to testify. Open your hands, open your palms. Look into it. You're going to sing this song with me now. Hey. I prophesy to you the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, He that is seated upon the throne of Jasper, in this season will bless you abundantly. There's the kind of song that is entering me. Songs of glory. The songs I'm receiving, bring it up. The songs, the, the songs, the songs I'm receiving. Don't stop. Just bring it up. The songs I'm receiving is telling me that the table has been set. That the table has been prepared. Amen. Hey, somebody is about to dine with men that matters. Amen. You are about to dine on the table of God. Amen. Lift up your hands, shout yeah! yeah. Come on, everybody. Come on. Hey. 
Move your hands to him, everybody. Now listen very well. You must understand the kind of battle you are in in order to understand the way to fight the battle. Are you hearing me? Listen again. The best way, the very best way of defense is war. Launch an attack. If you keep defending, they will score you. And the goal will come at the die minute. You will not be able to return the goal. I've seen people, for instance, from football perspective, you know, I like football. I always like to give you examples from football you know, perspective. Anytime you see a club trying to play defense, a club that plays this defensive football, they will always receive goals on their own post. Are you hearing me? Their opponent will keep scoring there. And why I hate such goals is because it comes at the dying minute when you will not be able to score back. We are entering into their domain. And we will scatter them yeah. by the grace of God. Yeah. No more defense. Somebody say no more defense. No more defense. Say I'm no more playing defense. I'm no more playing defense. I am on attack now. Listen, listen. If anybody is giving you trouble, one day someone courage and attack the person. He will run away. From that day, you see, you give you respect. It doesn't allow you to drink water and drop cup. Attack. Plan yourself and launch attack. He will never play with you again. Someone was telling me a story the other day. He said, one particular man, he said, man of God, keeps troubling him. It doesn't allow him to. He's also, they both men of God. It doesn't allow him to talk. He controls, he influences him so much. And here they are at the same level of ministry. Are you getting me? In fact, the other person that is being influenced and attacked was it could be said to be higher. Are you getting me? In value, respect, in impact and exploit. But here, the other person will always attack you because if he has money more than am I talking to somebody? And so one day he came the same way to attack. He told, Stop! I've been leaving you. Don't try me. Don't try me. Today is the last day you will ever try that. Look at that person around you say today is the last day. You look down on me. 
because I am ready to attack. If I launch my own attack, you go pick race. So, also game me You say today is the last day. If you try it again, I've been leaving you, and you are now taking too much. If you try it again, I will show you. From that very day, from that very, in fact, right inside the vehicle, it was the guy, the person, the very person that was attacking before was the one driving. Are you hearing me? From that minute, he did not talk until they got to their destination. Fear not. You know how many times you'll find it in the, how many places you see it in the Bible? Fear not. Stop being afraid of that situation. And you see the situation becoming afraid of you. Just by only boldness, boldness, with a rod that doesn't have mouth, it doesn't talk nothing. Israelized by Moses through God's command. Are you getting me? March towards the Red Sea, and the Red Sea did what? Pate! Have you been to close to the river before? Not to talk of sea. Have you made a sea? Have you made a sea? an ocean? It makes so much noise. If you start around, you only we are just like that. The wave is so fearful that you don't want to stay around. You don't want to stay close. In fact, if you stay close for for three hours, you are ready to receive to have to receive uh, to be attacked with cold. Cold. If you stay three hours very close to a sea, the water did not touch you. Are you hearing me? But you you will suffer cold. Shore bank at the wind to show you how dangerous. If it is during summer, you will have sunburn because in the atmosphere. The same way you have a moisturized atmosphere that is cold when it is cold. Are you getting it? It's the same way you have hot, hot vapor from the water. It will be coming out. So on the, I've seen people it happen to. Hot water. Just like water you used to bath. If you use what some of them are needed to needs to be diluted. Are you getting me? Sometimes it would need to be diluted. For staying around, maybe a beach. You went for leisure. You know, to have a sit out and enjoy yourself. You need to rub something. There's a kind of cream you rub on your body to stay around the ocean. Am I talking to anybody? During summertime. So that you will not get your bones. If not, if you're not there, you'll just be there alive, seeing your body reddish. Bones. My friend, attack, attack. Na, 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 na. If they ask you, tell them, my prophet sent me. Yes, 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 bell money is down. We have barristers, we have judges, we have every, go, attack. Praise the Lord. We are no more going to leave them. We have fought that ground fight enough. That's what is called Area battle. Area. Oh, these people are not with me. There's a ground battle. There's an area battle. There is a water sea battle. That's why you have the navy. You have the army. Are you get the land army? You have you have uh, what again? You have the air force. All of them are in the military. But their functions are different. Are you getting me? You may have been fighting only ground war. Ground battle. This time you need to come from the air. That's why it's air force. Air force. Service. Air force service. If you follow me, I don't talk anyhow. I don't give caption anyhow. We are coming from above now. Why? He that is seated above is above all. The air force are only gotten involved when the battle has become a very fierce one. When the battle is now critical. Are you hearing me? When the battle is now complicated, they will be gotten involved. And once they come, it shows that the battle is about to be over. This is our last battle. And we are coming from above. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Do you even know who you are? Do you even know where you are? Do you know where you are seated? Are you seated here on earth? My friend, earthly level is the lowest level. 
people that operate from that dimension, they are not different from slaves. They are always under attack. They are always under influence. Though you are in the world, you are not of the world. Your oppression is from somewhere. Your order comes from above. You are only responsible to the authority that sits above. Oh, these people didn't get it. Am I talking to anybody yes, here? Sir. You are only responsible to the authority that sits above. Oh. The people that can query you are not from this platform. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The people that can give you query and say, why did you do this? They, did. they are not here. That's why the devil has got no power over you. Yes, if you're going to die, it is God that can kill you. Yes, sir. Because Amen. you belong to him. Yes, if you will live, it is God that will give you life. With one hand, I give life. With the other, I kill. That's why you call Jesus, you are Lord. Ordinarily, you can't call him, you are Lord. There are people that doesn't have Jesus as Lord. They have Olatsi Okeja as Lord. They have Amadi as Lord. They have all these court, all secret societies here as Lord. But you, 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 Jesus is your Lord and personal savior. You call it my Lord Jesus. My Lord, Master. God is your God. Jesus is your Lord. He lords over you. He's the one in charge. You submit to him. He controls you. He's the Lord of your life. So you are not answerable to any devil here. You are answerable only to your Lord. It is your Lord that has your soul. That's why it's, it, it, the, the devil, all those all those forces will always tell you, give me your soul. I give you fame. Give me what. The only thing they want is your soul. Your Lord has possession of your soul. If you submit to Jesus as your Lord, he has possession of your soul. He's the only one that has power over you. No one has power. They can't kill you because they don't have power over you. Can I speak to you? Yes, sir. Where they plan their, your death, they shall be the one that will die on your behalf. Amen. Because they don't have power to kill you. Amen. You are not submitting your soul to them. Yes, sir. You never submitted your body to them. Amen. Your spirit, soul, and body belongs to Jesus. Yes, sir. If you die, you die in him. If you live, you live in him. If you die, you go to him. You don't go to any... You don't know that when you die, you go to your Lord. You go to the bosom of your Lord. If Jesus is your Lord, you are going to his bosom as you die to go and continue the worship. Am I talking to someone? That's why it's called transition. Because you are transiting to another kingdom. Another, no, no, another dimension of life. You continue, life continues. Nobody dies. Are you hearing me? Yes, if you're of the devil, you transit to the kingdom of hell and finish it up there. It continues. Everyone has eternal life. But which eternal life are you talking? Is it eternal life in death? In in the in the that's eternal death. Are you are you hearing me? Where, that's why they ask you, where do you spend eternity? Because there is always eternity for everyone. But where do you spend it? Can I professor? Yeah. Men and brethren, I want to talk to you now. The communities that has held you and held your blessings bound all the while. They did so because you failed to understand where you are coming from. Are you hearing me? Yes, but now that you have come to know, I prophesy. Receive back what belongs to you. Amen. Receive back your belongings. Amen. You fail to understand that where you call your community is not your community. Ah. Where you call your community and anywhere you call your community the king, the eze of that community becomes your eze. Heaven is your community. Yes, sir. We are talking from the spiritual. Yes, sir. So a carnal person cannot understand it. Because carnal people does not understand the things of the spirit. They are foolishness to them. So because you thought you are from Abraba and because you are from Abraba in the physical, you thought they are the one that owns you. Now lie! You are not from there originally. You are 
just there for temporal things. So each time you are approaching them, you are not approaching them from your heart. Because your heart belongs somewhere. Am I talking to someone? Any man you approach with your heart has power over you. If he's in occultism, he can call you, you will answer. Oh God. That's why they take people. They take you. Without you are not, you marry if any man. The only thing in our bambo equals it against your co-workers. Because each or king not in the heart of your or God, only you, only you. In a true or God, or God, or God called, or God just called. This one, that they will kill you. If they call you in the realm, you will answer. Can I prophesy? Prophesy. If you used to answer from now, you will never answer them again. Amen. You shall no more answer. Amen. Lift up your hands say no more answer. No more answer. Some of you, small time, you wake up, you run to your husband, you run to your wife, you run to your children. Did you call me? Nobody called you, my friend. Somebody is trying to call you from a bad place. So each time such a thing happens, you speak a word. Be a man of the word. Speak a word always. Use words positively. I don't mean the word. You may not even talk the word of God. Because already you, the word of God is dwelling in you as Jesus. So anything positive, you can say it. You can't get me. They can't get me. Any, king, any kingdom they are calling me from, temple, altar, they will never get me. Say it. Somebody around you may not understand you. You may look down what you are saying, but you know what you are saying. It is only you and you are God that should mastermind the activities of your life. Sometimes you talk, they don't understand. They must not understand. They must not understand. It's not everything you do that men will understand. If men understand everything you do, my friend, they say you are like a wind. Where you are blowing from, they don't know. Where you are going to, they don't know. But they will feel your impact. Can I talk to somebody? Yes, sir. Talk to me, sir. You will get men amazed this season. Amen. You will get men dumbfounded. Amen. You will get men surprised. Amen. I, can I prophesy Amen. again? Amen. Where they stop others, they find that they can't stop you. Amen. In that family where everybody is dancing to their tune, you will be the only one that will not dance to your tune. Amen. In that family where people die at a certain Amen. age, every other person dies at that age or below the age, you will exceed that age Amen. and you will be doing exploits. They will, they, will, they wonder, 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 wonder. That shall be their, that shall be their portion. Yes, sir. Mama, mama, shut up, yada. Mm. Everything about God or service of God should be wonder, wonder. Yes. I and the children that the Lord has given to me. Hey. We are for mama, mama. You should be a confusion to them. Mama, mama. You should be a confu you confuse them. You keep getting them confused. Are you getting me? Yes, sir. Because the God you are serving is a wonderful God. He's a wonder walking God. Wonder, wonder, wonder. I never see this kind of God though. You are not following me. What is happening? I never see this kind of God though. I never see this kind of God do. Wonder, 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 wonder. I never see this kind of God. Wonder, 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 wonder. Jesus, now wow. Jesus, now wow. Jesus, now wow. Jesus, now wow. I never see this kind of God do. Wonder, 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 wonder. I never see, I never see. Wonder, 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 wonder. I never see this kind of God, oh. Wonder, 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 wonder. I never see this kind of God. Wonder, 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 wonder. Anywhere I go, wonders they follow me. Wonder, 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 wonder. People around me they wonder, oh. Wonder, 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 wonder. wonder. My love keep making them to wonder, oh. Wonder, 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 wonder. The things I thought keep making them wonder, 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 wonder. I never see this kind of God. Wonder, wonder, wonder. wonder. I never see this kind of God. Oh, wonder, wonder, wonder. Jesus, now wow. 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 Your life shall be a wonder. Amen. From now henceforth, I prophesy, you are a wonder to many. Amen. When I talk with 
people, they will be talking here, I will be talking there. Yes, sir. I don't talk what they talk. It Amen. takes them time to understand me. They will always come at the end to say, ha, you will always go far from where we are. That should be you. Amen. That should be you. Amen. That should be you. Amen. Wonder, wonder, wonder. Some of you, it is your wife that has such a mandate. Allow her to function. She's the one that will always think that way. She's always going to go deep. You just feel, felt good with what your friend told you about a business, a certain business. And your wife is telling you, what if, what if it happened this way? Are you sure he's not trying to give ears? Are you getting me? It might be that your wife is deeper. He has that capacity by God to think further. In fact, you don't have to reason things with what is happening here. Yes, because you are not here. Yes, sir. You are just representing so this is not your home. This is not your place. This is not where your life is. That's why you left everything to come to church. That's why you will come tomorrow. Even when there is that, you will still come. That's why you 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 pay your tithe. That's why you give offering. You did the ego. In our better natural ego in your friend. For what? For what, my friend? Why? Why must you do that? Because you are not operating from here. And if you don't, if you don't live that like that, you are still here. You are not there. That's why you did everything going up and down looking for where to get money to come and pay your bishop free grace money. Yet you don't have money on your own, but you are running around. Because you are not from here. What you do is different from what they do. Can I speak to someone? Speak to me, sir. My goodness. Lanusia. Iga. Osiopalia. Iadusia. Makulusia. Receive the wonders of God. Amen. I say receive ye the wonders of God. Amen. From henceforth, you will give them surprises. Amen. Surprise attack. Amen. Surprise blessings. Amen. Surprise breakthroughs. Amen. Surprise liftings. Amen. Surprise money. Amen. Emergency money. Amen. Receive it now. Amen. Everything about your life is surprise, surprise, surprise. When you show up, every I know you check here, I'm going to I'm going to go here, Biana. Can you go there? Let us not take this decision. I go there. Because you must come up with something different. Yes, something powerful. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Surprise, surprise. Everybody go to you, go to you, go to you. go in upon it, go to you before you left them in the meeting. But before you got home, you were done, you already have money. It happens to others. If it happened to you, is it the same? No, no. Why do you believe that there's no miracle? And you are living in abject, you are living in suffering. And so, no! Miraculously, you can come out of that situation. Miraculously, miracle can happen. Yes, you will come out. Let not your life be full of the natural. Walk from above. For we are seated in the heavenly places with him. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Above principality. That is where you should operate from. This morning we shall throw a bomb. Amen. Amen. We shall not walk with ordinary prayer. Amen. We'll be throwing bomb. Yes, sir. <laughs> Oh my do theater. You go to drop bomb because in your heart, in your life, evil bomb would eat each. You carry bomb. So that carry bomb. I carry bomb. Oh my goodness, what is happening here? Can somebody show us the book of John chapter 3, verse 10, 31? John 3, 31. John 3, 31. And I'm a shatana. Jesus has surprised you go with many, many blessings. Ay, yeah, yeah. You will be an embarrassment to them. Amen. Once you land like this, they will get embarrassed. Amen. How do you feel? People that you had meeting with, you did not have money. You were even the one that was telling you, I don't have money, I don't. And then the next time you are coming, you are coming with one million. You have gotten them embarrassed. They now see you acting, doing things, doing things. They, they, will, just, they will standing at your back. Follow you, they will not follow you. Become their leader because they don't have the money. Can we read it together? One to everyone. Did you get it there? If, if, if you are fighting a grand battle and all of a 
sudden, a flight, jet, began to fly around your area. One minute, pick race, oh, because that person is higher than you. <laughs> At that point, John, are you hearing me? At that point, watch it if you follow Boko Haram's war. All the wars that are happening in Nigeria. Let's use Nigeria. Anytime you hear that a jet came, <laughs> we don't need to take a cover. Did you get me? Okay, let's talk about the Afra war. Why did they build? Do you know what it means for this very small part of the nation to hold a whole Nigeria? The whole you fought Nigeria just from here. Are you hearing me? You held them for three solid days. They thought it was going to happen for two, three days. A war that was expected to happen for three days. They would jet fly at all, but whatever, everybody has surrendered. Had stayed for three. Oh God. And these people, the Biafra, we stood them. They withstood them. Are you hearing me? But look at where they, they were lacking it. Are you getting me? There was no jet to drop bombs. No jet. So from time to time, these people fly, 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 drop bombs. If you go to the village, you see women, you see men that their nose goes from here to the other side. It was a bomb. Some of them, their legs cut. Are you getting me? If you meet war veterans, Many people that fought for me. Are you getting? You see a lot of them, their legs. You see a lot of their hands amputated. Why? Because there were droppings of bombs from there was an area part of it. It was from the area, from the air that these people got them defeated. Did I am I, am I talking to somebody? Yeah. It's from the air that they got these people defeated. If it is a ground thing, they wouldn't have gotten it. Are you hearing me? Ikonu corner. Cause what? This cord. Are you getting me? It did not save you. You fought with your hand. You will change words. Gossip. It did not save you. Now we are going to go exclusively spiritual. Are you getting me? This war is strictly war. What they don't know will happen to them. Yes. Did you get it? Yes. Did you believe it? Yes. What they don't know. Yes. Oh God, these people, these people can't get me. Can we read it again? What do we go? Everybody. He who comes from above is above all. He who is of the earth is earthly. Look at it. Crawling. Crawling from the earth. He's of the earth. He who comes from heaven is above all. And that is where you are coming from. But you never knew that. Even if you knew it, you never acted as one coming from that place. That is why you've not got your victory. You've not brought it to the visible visibility where people can feel it, touch it, and enjoy it. Are you getting me? Because you never acted. The Bible says, you will decree a thing and it will be established. How many times have you declared, declared something? Tell yourself the truth. The truth. Even pastors, just, they will just keep quiet facing their situation. How many times have you made a declaration? You believe in what you say. Am I talking to somebody? You made a declaration and you believe strongly in it. Looking for, don't you know it takes faith? It takes faith to see what you declare come to pass. You make this, that degree, you will hold God in your mind. As you are walking, you are busy walking in your office, all of a sudden, oh, he take from your subconscious mind. Bam, I said so, so, and so, so. What is the time? That time you're exercising faith in what you say. What is the time? The day is about to, to go. The day is about to expire. What is the time? What, what's happening? I said so, so, and so, that it will happen today. It will just become a prompting up from your inside. Unconsci Am I talking to consciously and unconsciously? It's coming. You exercising faith. Stop telling me how do I exercise faith. Do you know it takes faith to cause somebody? It takes faith to cause. If you put a cause, you'll be looking forward to see the cause come to pass. Every time you see that person, you say, I, I cause this man. The only thing you will be expecting, the consciously unconscious is evil to happen to that person. Am I talking to someone? That is faith. You know you are seated above. You say it. You tell people, I am seated above in heavenly places, far up, far above, far above, far above what? And yet principalities and powers are still frustrating you. Yet you are saying you are seated above. Can't you practicalize this? Can't you get 
these things to the physical world. Because you are still living in the physical. My friend, you are not in the spiritual. You are in the spiritual when you connect to yourself. Are you getting me? But first, just naturally, you are here. Is it not true? If I want to touch this guy, I touch him. I'm feeling him here. Look at him. I usually hear the sound of his body as I'm beating him. Physically speaking, naturally speaking, he is here. But there is something in him that is tabernacled by this body. Are you getting me? Housed by this body. If you don't provoke it, if you don't get this thing subjected and provoke the one inside, it will not, there will be no connection, there will be no link yes, in the supernatural, yes, in the yes, spiritual, yes, that will enable you to affect something positively. Am I talking to someone? Yes, Somebody show me the book of Joshua chapter 10. Can we see the book of Joshua on the screen? Book of Joshua 10, 11. Joshua 10, 11. Let us see. Look, God, God, who understood where he is, where he is seated. Are you getting me? Functions from that place. Don't be so. When he wanted to send his son, his, the word, he sent him from that place. Don't be so. Now, can we read this one together? Everybody. And it happened as they fled before Israel. And we are on the descent of Beth, Horror. That the Lord cast down large hailstones from heaven on them as far as Ezekiel. And they died. There were more, more who died from the hailstone than the children of Israel killed with their sword. No matter how powerful your sword is, it cannot be compared to when a bomb is dropped from that. When you are dropping a bomb from the air, you are in a safer place. You know, in the in now, you know, you know, you know, watch me clear through the window. There were more that died than the people that died as they fought physically. They fought one on one. As they fought with sword. This time around, hell, hell stones fell from heaven. We are running. Hundred headstone may be running, will be falling on you, coming down you. You are running. The other one is as far as there. The other one is, and it's a spiritual. It is a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual force. So it's spiritually orchestrated, spiritually set in such a way you cannot. You want to go no one at you before. Go no one at you. All that babarana. Go see neighbor. That's the thing. Me that pota. That pota here from there. That part. We don't know. So pass the name. Beat. Are you getting me? Are you hearing me? Before they got him, he died before the, the people that died. At the, are you getting me? And most of the people in the car that was in the car, the car kept on. Have you not heard that a car was tumbling or a car had an accident? Somebody before that accident could mature. Are you getting me? Somebody in, on the car, maybe lorries and all that, uh, fell out. He jumped out. Let me use the right word. He jumped out of the lorry or something or a car. He had a map. The next day, they had all my The tire crushed him. Then, at the end of the day, you will see that those who were there in the car, as the car was stumbling and having that accident, are you hearing me? None of them did what die. In fact, none of them had a very major, a major injury. But the person that tried to jump out, he would go no one at you. will be in his house. Tire of nine one one will run out of the nine one one and run straight to break the fence, the wall of the fence, break the wall of the room. I've seen it with my eyes in my village when they constructed that road from Onisha, Onisha, Oba, Oba, Newe, Okiwe Road. Are you getting me? That very road. A vehicle, a trailer, are you getting me? Was on a high speed and one of the tires went off, pulled out, that's the right, pulled out of the hub or the, the wheel or whatever. Do you understand me? And then broke. That was when I feared that. Though. I never knew that that kind of power can be in a tire. That's why I've had, we were going to Abuja and our tire ran out. It pulled out of the, the, the place it was, you know, the car and went off. Do you know the way it was got? It was gotten like from here to Omaha. If you are looking for it within that vicinity, you are wasting your time. It will move. A tire of a, a trailer went off from pulled out and brought down the fence wall. Brought down the room wall. Are you hearing me? Went inside and killed a woman inside the room. A house that is built beside 
side the road. Tie a maple. Cut to old fence. Cut to wall. No, no, God. Who to go no one at also? That is how they because it is orchestrated from above. That is how the hell we be pursuing the one or the car when we see as it is okute as I drop it, pursue this one and kill him. Are you getting me? He never would have, but before you bought the open again. Just like the, the stone of, of David. You have heard about the stone of David that was patterned, directed, orchestrated to hit the forehead of Goliath and go out from the other side so that there's no no professional professor of medicine. Are you getting me? That will be able to pull out the, because you know if they are able to remove the stone, they could be able to get him healed or restore him. But as long as he enters through here and went out through this place, he's gone. He's over. The hair fell to the extent that the death caused by the hell stones were much more in number than the ones the people of Israel killed with the sword. That's what is going to happen tonight. Amen. You'll be ha- fighting with them from this pers- from this place, from this side of the world. You'll be fighting with them with your mouth. You'll be fighting with them using your physical strength, physical energy. But now you will fight with them from the supernatural. Your bones is about to drop in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your bones will drop. Amen. Your health are both to drop. Amen. They are about to drop. Amen. The hell stones that will come out from your command is about to drop on their heads. Amen. And they shall all die. Amen. In Egypt, at a point, God says, Speak to them. Speak to the heavens to drop hell. Am I talking to somebody? Stand on your feet. We're going to judge them now. Because no power. After today's service, I will answer. I will say, God, I've done what you asked me to do. The rest are in your hand. Do what you want to do. By yourself, do what you want to do. We have sent, spent money. We have done all the things nece- that are necessary to be done. Are you getting me? We've done all of them. Now, it is God that will finish the work. Amen. I will hands up and say, God, we have done our best. Carry on and do that which we are not able to do. Is anybody with me here? Yes, sir. Let's pray now. We're going to judge them. Are you with me? We're going to judge them from Isaiah 28 verse 17. Can we see Isaiah 28 17? Stand on your feet. If you can't stand, we're going to stand and pray. From Isaiah what? Are you giving it, giving it to us? Isaiah 28 17. We're going to judge all of them. We will put judgment. Before a man is executed, in the court of, before a man is executed, is killed. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. He must be judged and be sentenced to death. Is it true? He must be first of all judged. That's why they say it is abnormal for you to kill a man without hearing his voice. So he must be judged. Are you hearing me? Yes, After the judgment, we're going to smooth them. Am I talking to someone? Yes, we're going to follow it princess by prince. We're going to follow it according to the way God is leading us. Can we read this thing? Want to go? I, I said 27, 18. 27, 17. Okay. 20, is it 28, 17? 28. Oh my good. 28, 17. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we read together everybody? Also, I will make justice. I will judge. I will make justice. The measuring line and righteousness diplomat. The hell will sweep away the refuge of liars and the waters will over. Hell will do what? Hell, hell will do what? Sweep away. We are going to cause them, judge them with hell. Hell will sweep them away. Amen. Are you getting me? Yes, sir. The liars are the wicked. The liars are the devil's cohorts. Are you getting me? Yes, sir. Those that partner with the enemy to fight and frustrate you. We are going to mess them up now. We are sweeping them away. Are you hearing me? Amen. Say after me, say, Oh God. Oh God. I didn't hear say it as if you would say, Oh God. Oh God. I judge this, I judge this my enemies. I judge this my enemies. With hell. With hell. 
I sweep them away. I sweep them away. With hell. Whatever they are. Let them be swept away. With hell. All of them that have gathered to stop my blessing in this bishopric case. I sweep them away. With hell. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Everybody. I want to see people that understand why we are here. I sweep them away with the air. Let them stop. Sweep them away. I'm not going to shut the other. Let them stop. Sweep them away. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. They gathered, they said they will block your way. They said they will block the way through which your blessing should come. Oh my goodness. They say you are a no-go area. They say nothing good should come your way. They say you are an outcast. That they should block you. Do you know there are people that they to put their back here by the side where you go no no on a marrow. They have been blocked. But let me shock you. Some of them that has that kind of house, in the realm of the spirit, they have a way through which people blessings come. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. But you who has a true way physically in the realm, they can block. Did you get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Some of these people, I'm just giving, using them as an example to you to tell you what happens in the realm of the spirit. Some of you that lives in a place where there is a, a good road, a no doubt road, no doubt means it is connected to different major cities. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Like you have a no doubt city. You know that it's connected from Onisha. You can connect over there. Connect Enugu. Connect Asaba. Connect this. Are you getting what I'm saying? So you have a very good road network that comes to your house. Yet in the spiritual, your, your house is blocked. And then you see somebody in the physical who doesn't have a way. Are you hearing me? See what the Because the erosion and everything, do you understand? Has blocked cut them off. You can't enter their way. We go go do moto. Even the people that bought cars from that family cannot park their cars inside their house. Have you not seen it before? But you know that such people, even in the realm, if they can clear their way, blessings will show. That's why they even had to buy a car. In the first place. And you go to a house with a house, you make sure to do a good road, yet no car. No good house. Lift up your hands. Block us off your way. Yeah. Them that say that in this bishop grace, that nothing good will come your way. That no miracle, there will be no way to enter you. Open your mouth and clear the way now. Clear the way, clear the way. Clear the way, clear the way. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here charity, come, come on here. Come on here. I see where you are. the way to your house is blocked in the name of the spirit. And people were crying. They are everywhere. Nothing good is working. Nothing is working well. I've seen people that are in the, that are doing good job, be receiving good pay, and yet nothing good is working in their lives. Complain, complain, complain. Before anything will enter their hands, a sweep when you will. I speak to your house and your family, your household, your family. From today, let there be a way to that house. Amen. Amen. And let the blessings of the Lord locate that house. Amen. Within seven days from now, I... your weeping shall be over. Amen. And blessings from above shall enter your house. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. receive it now. Amen. Come on, go, 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 go. Somebody say Amen. Amen. Right now, we're going to get them frustrated before we smooth them. Aye. Isaiah 44 verse 25. Isaiah 44 25. Isaiah 44 25. Akalada shata. Ekabun shiria taba. Iyamanu siapa. Iyananamusia. Ekwensu kiere megio. Kiere megio. Magi mando tugio. What's it? Let's read it now together. We are frust getting the frustrated. Yes, to get people frustrated is to give them no hope. Take away hope. Hope of bringing you down. Hope of stopping you shall be taken away. 
To get people frustrated is to get people disappointed. To get people frustrated is to get people confused. Aye. They don't know the next line of action. Aye. They don't know the way to follow. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. My goodness. Let's do it together. I want to go. Who frustrates? Yes, He's talking about God now. Our God. Our God. Yes, sir. He frustrates. And what our God does, we can do. Yes. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. Because we are here to represent him. Hmm. Who frustrates the signs of the babblers and drives diviners mad? Those that go to consult native doctors on your behalf, they shall get mad. Amen. Now, let, let, me, let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Ah. Those that go to consult native doctor, those that go to make, ah, bah, 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 make your name available to, they don't know you. All of a sudden, they are following you. All of a sudden, they are attacking you. How did they know you? Somebody went and mentioned your name. Those that go to diviners to ask about your destiny. The Bible says that when Pharaoh heard, that, heard from the three wise men that a son, a king was born, he said, go and inquire. Inquire where the city, where they want to know what you are, you are up to. They want to know your capacity. They want to know the mandate you are coming with in this planet. They want to know your purpose for coming. The reason why you entered. That is how some of your uncles, some of your sisters, some of your aunties went to check out the mandate you carry. We went to check out the gift you carry so that they make sure you don't raise your head because they are afraid that if you raise your head they will live in shame. But now all that they did against you shall be gotten frustrated. Amana I say shall be gotten frustrated. I say shall be gotten frustrated. Lift up your hands say after me say oh God. Get them mad. Get them mad. Get them mad. Make their knowledge foolishness. You see that thing they took the, that knowledge they think they have. You see that wisdom they think they have. They know how to have meeting against you. They know how to raise some topics, dangerous topics against you. They know how to raise up agenda just to kill you and destroy the joy that God has given to you. They shall be made foolishness. They shall be made foolishness. It was only one declaration. I want you to know what it means to make a decree from today. You'll be making decrees. Amen. If you go back home, tell, speak, and say, In this Bishop hey. Regis, I will receive this. This man of God, when you call his ministry, he will bless me with this. This one will bless me with this. Say things and stand on it. You will have it. It was only one declaration. What was the declaration of David concerning Ahitophel? He said, Let their counsel become foolishness. That is what the Bible is just saying now. He makes their wisdom, their knowledge foolishness. They have taken counsel against you. He said they could two counsel against the Lord and his anointed. They took counsel against you. But their counsel will be turned to foolishness. Amen. It was what? It was the only prayer. David at that point could not pray. Do you know it takes concentration to pray? It takes focus to pray. But in the midst of not having that focus, because fear is everywhere. Fear is everywhere. Which one are talking? If you organize inside to pray, you can stand and make a decree. Father, I decree. Amen. This situation shall not come against me. Simple. Oh, wait, better because he gave me way better at that point. Am I talking to anybody? Yes, sir. David was running out of his house, out of his pleasure place, out of his joyful house. He born as king, as president. He had no, he was running for his life. He had no focus. He has no organization. He wasn't organized. He was full of fear because he said that Absalom knew how to fight. He was afraid of Absalom. But when he heard that this guy called Ahitophel, am I talking to someone, was there. He knew that he has a council and his council is always powerful. When he drops his council, things happen. He said, he said, let the council of Ahitophel be turned into foolishness. That was the end of it. Is anybody with me? Yes, sir. Their knowledge and their counsel against you is hereby declared foolishness. Amen. Their diviners and themselves that want to consult them, they are all gotten mad. Amen. I get them mad. Amen. Let them be the maddest people in their in their Amen. generation. In their generation, they are the maddest. Amen. Ayana shatter their insanity. Their insanities will not be turned to sanity. Amen. They will continue to be insane. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. A man of shatter, lift up your hands and say, get them frustrated. Get them mad. Get them mad. Get them foolish. Make them foolish. Let foolishness become their portion. In the midst of their counsel. Let foolishness take them over. In the name of Jesus. Clap your hands and pray. Hey, hey. Get them mad. Get them mad. Get them 
mad, get them mad, get them mad, get them mad, let them become mad, let them become insane. They will not know their last decision, they will not remember their last discussion, they will not remember their last counsel. Enough is enough. Destroy their works, destroy their works. Their hands will not perform their entire hands in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. At this juncture, we're going to get them smoother. I get smooth to fall right now. Is anybody with me? Yes, sir. To get them smooth this means to get them killed. To smooth them with the mouth of the sword. No mercy. Somebody say no mercy. No mercy. We're going to get them what? Smoother. Can somebody help me with Isaiah? The book of Haggai. Haggai chapter 2, verse 17. We'll get them smoother. Are you ready to smooth them? Yes, sir. Or you want, you want to preserve, you want to keep them? No, let me tell you. It was when Saul, what killed Saul finally was when he went to fight the Amalekites. And when he went, he, instead of doing what God said, God said, go, kill all of them. He went, instead of that, he preserved some, some major choice animal. And they preserved the kings. He rescued them, kept them, and said, I brought them for the sacrifice. So who told you that God is looking for that sacrifice? Can we read it together, everybody? Want to go? I struck you with blight and mildew and hell in all the levels of your hands. Yes. This is because the children of Israel were not. But look at what I borrowed from there. The children of Israel here were disobedient. Are you getting me? But what I borrowed from there against our enemies, enemies of our blessings of Bishop Rick Day 2021, what I borrowed from there is striking them with hell. Still from the area, from the air. Are you, you know we are coming from the air. We're going to throw throw bombs on them now. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Throw bombs. Throw bombs. Throw bombs. Hellstone. Somebody say hellstone. Hellstone. Somebody say brimstone. Brimstone. We're going to rain it upon. It will rain. Amen. It will rain. Amen. We will rain hell on them. Anywhere they are. Let rain fall on them. Amen. Lift up your hands. Say, oh God. Oh God. Today, Today we, get we get our enemies, enemies of blessings, blessings smitten. We throw bombs on them. We, we cast hell upon them. Hell we command it to fall like rain. Open your mouth and pray. I want to hear you pray. In their troubles, in the seas, wherever they gather against you, throw hell on them. Throw hell on them. Cast hell on them. Open your mouth and pray. Cast hell on them. Cast hell on them. Somebody cast hell on them. Now. 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 Now, let it upon them. Let it fall like a rain. Let it fall like a rain. Enough is enough. Come on, throw it down upon them now. I want to see somebody pray. I got a shariata, a Christian Maria Tabada, the Manuma Sata. Pray, 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 pray. In Jesus' name. Hey, man. Listen, it takes faith to sow. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. You have given money. Can you just throw your money away? No, sir. Can you just come and begin to throw 50 that I throw 20 that I throw 10 that I throw away? You have spent money for this matter. You can't go empty. Amen. You are not permitted to go empty. Amen. Going empty is an error. Going empty is an error. It's against the old. It's against the modus operandi. It's against what is obtainable with the kingdom. If you sow, you shall reap. 
Amen. If you plant, you should harvest. Amen. Am I on to any woman? Yes, sir. yes, sir. If you have planted, you need to harvest. Uh -huh. It's an error, a very bad error. Are you getting me? Yes, sir. For you to plant and not harvest. Uh -huh. It's not in the agenda of God. Yes, it doesn't have to do with God. Yes, when such happens, it's out of God. You can do something out of this world. A child of God is permitted to do something out of this world. Sometimes you see me write, I say, this is out of this world. Your beauty is out of, you are this, this, this. The money, the, the wisdom is out of, you are permitted to do something out of this world. Yes. Why? Because you are coming not from this world. Yes, but a, a, someone that is of the world has no right to do out of, where are you yes, getting sir. the inspiration? Where are you getting the power to do something out of this world? Your business will blossom and prosper from out of this war because the mandate comes from above. How can you come from above and somebody that is earthly, who's supposed to be, who, who comes from the earth that's supposed to be earthly, crawl, you know, where we at? People had to do, when the devil was cast down, they say, woe unto the inhabitants. We are not inhabitants of here. We are citizens of heaven. Yes, sir. But sojourners in, 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 in the earth. We are ambassadors here. Yes, sir. Oh, every ambassador has what is called immunity, ambassadorial immunity. That's why the bar with which a border is closed is, does not stop them because there is always a sensor in their car. That number that they write, diplomat, diplomat, as, there is a sensor there. And once the bar in every border sees the sensor, when they sense the, when they, when they have the sense, sensor is from sense. And you have sense here, yeah? a diplomat is coming. Am I come, talking to someone? Yes, you see the bar. Because a diplomat is coming. You are not supposed to have a hindrance. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Because you'll fly. Have you had seen yourself in dream when there's no way out? And the only thing you could do was to fly. Yes, and they tell you you fly, you need deliverance. Nonsense. If we wanted to kill you and you fly away, do you need deliverance? What kind of deliverance is that? I want to fly and fly them all. Let them gather, I will fly away. Is anybody with me from yes, this? Sir. You need to fly at times in the realm. They have got that there's no way again. There is a sea blocking you and your blessing is at the other side. You need to fly over the sea. Did you get me here? Yes, sir. You don't need any deliverance. Thank God that one is not mostly hard now. You know, there are those things they used to say those days. Now, it's not mostly hard. They say, you're flying in there. You're flying, you need to come, come, come. Today, we don't talk about it you know, much. Am I talking to anybody? Bishop Grace 2021 is a season of your miracle. Amen. I speak to you. I feel like tearing myself apart and putting parts of me inside of you to understand the nitty gritty and intricate the, what God has for you in Bishop Grace. If you are taking it for granted, I'm not taking it for granted. I have spent money. We have spent money. We need to have a dividend. We need a profit. We need to, we need to have a gain. You can't give to God. When you are giving to God, expect a harvest. You can't give to God because you can't outgive God. So when you give, you have just quickened God. And God will not allow you to outgive him. Because you can't take over the CEO of, of the heavens. Are you hearing me? It is only the one that bought the highest share of a company that becomes the chairman, managing director of that company. Are you chief executive? It's only a man that buys. You can be the lead, own the, the chairman of uh, EcoBank now. If I buy shares more than you in that company, I take over the chairmanship. Is anybody with me in this house? So God will never allow, naturally, supernaturally, naturally, from anywhere you think about, God can never allow you to outgive him. That's why he had to even lay the foundation of where you are with his son. He said, at the foundation of the earth, the, the, the lamb was slain. That's why they mentioned Jesus. They said they overcame by the blood of the Even when Jesus had not come to die here, when there was war in heaven, to show you that the blood has already been, been spilled for us. I come in the volume of the books. I have something persuading me from the inside. I need to make a prophecy. Can I prophesy? prophesy. In this season of Bishop Grace 2021, that door that locked up your belongings hey. over the years, in the name of Jesus, I force it open. Amen. When thieves enter bank, because anywhere something precious should be, there's a door locked. There's always a security. Are you hearing me? 
that's why you say, how do you go to a strong man's house and take what belongs without binding? Are you getting me? Anywhere something precious is, there's always security. There's always a protective apparatus that is used to which, to, to protect those. Are you hearing me? Yes, and that is why when thieves go to the bank, they go with granites. Are you getting grenades? They throw grenades. You, ne you never had it before. That door that is bulletproof, when they throw grenade, it will pull it. When they go to billion van, because billion van is so tightly you know, protected because of the money inside. So when they are going, they are going with grenade. How did they get the throw out with the core hammer to break, to break the key? Are you hearing me? Once they throw the grenade, you bust open the very, uh, uh, you know, the van and the, the, the strong part of it where money is, is, is put. Now there is a door that is housing your blessings. Mm -hmm. And there's an enemy at the front of it. Ah. You need to throw bomb. Yes, sir. I speak to you by God. Amen. In the name that is above every other name. Amen. I command a giant before the door that is housing your miracle to go down by fire. Amen. Go down by hell. Amen. Go down by fire. Amen. I cast hell upon you. Amen. Die now. Amen. I open up the door. Amen. I carry you inside. Amen. Possess your miracle. Amen. Possess your blessing. Amen. Possess your breakthrough. Amen. Let there be restoration. Amen. I get you restored. Amen. In this dispensation of bishopric grace, I, 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 I decree and declare Amen. that everything that you have lost by canker wars and palma wars shall be restored in full. Amen. Lift up your hands. Receive supernatural restoration. Amen. I get your minds restored. Amen. I get your spirits restored. Amen. I get your miracles restored. Amen. What they took from you, take it back. Amen. Take it back now. Amen. Take it back now. It Lift up your hands. Shout fire. fire. I want to see finally the book of. Uh -huh. Because we are on restoration now. Are you ready? I want to see finally the book of uh, Jeremiah, chapter number 13, verse number 17. Can you show us that scripture now? Is anybody with me in this house? Are we together here? Yes, sir. Can we read it? Want to go? Let's read. For I will restore health back. If you are losing your health, take it back now. You've been on drugs. You've been on too many drugs. You've been on too many drugs. You've been on orthodox prescriptions of medical doctors, traditional doctors. You took the medical, you took the orthodox, you took you took the English ones and it, as if it did not work out. Now you are on the traditional one and yet you are not seeing improvement. In the name of he that is above every other name, who brought up this world, who said he would restore? I declare your health restored. Put your two hands on your head. Let your health be restored now. Let your health be restored now. Restoration of health. Say, I am restored in my health. I'm restored in my finances. I'm restored on all sides. Lift up your hands, sharp fire. For I will restore health to you. Restore means it was taken. Every day is for the thief. But one day is for the owner of the house. They have been stealing, but today they shall restore. Amen. I move you from the realm of stealing, Amen. realm of theft, Amen. realm of burglary, Amen. realm of, realm of ro robbery, Amen. and I bring you into the realm of restoration. Amen. You are now the owner of the house. Amen. For I will restore health to you and heal you of your wounds. Mananushana. Says who? Says the Lord. Is it David Nebife? No, sir. I say, is it Nebi David Nebife? No, sir. Is it Okechuku Nebife? No, sir. Okay. Because of what? They hey. call you and I. Hey! They say you are, they have mocked you. They have made jest of you. They have made caricature of you. But there's a time for everything. This is not time to make caricature of you. 
This is time for you to make caricature of them. The table has turned. Hey, hey, the table just turned. You are on the safer side. You are on the safer side. I don't say safe side. You are on the safest side. Look up your hands and say, I grab it. I grab it. Show me, show me the scripture. Show me the scripture again. God bless you. God bless you. Because they called you an outcast. They are making a year of you. They are cajoling you a year shortly. But this is the end of their work. He said, they said, this Zion, no one seeks her. In other words, Ajuru Yaju, Omu Nye Choroge, Omu Nye Choroge, that best gift in with it. All of a sudden, they used to celebrate you. All of a sudden, you lost the groove. You lost the sorting. Nobody sorts up, seeks after you. They don't see you as anything again. Or a man of glory, madam, but your glory just came back. Amen. My goodness, glory just came back. Amen. Ichabod is no more your name. Amen. Because your glory just arrived. Yes, sir. Even the glory of the most high. I Lift up your hand and say, I grab it now. I Come on, say, 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 I grab it now. Say, I grab it now. I, grab it now. I, I take back my glory. I take back my glory. Open your mouth and speak it. I take back my glory. I talk about the glory of Logos Assembly. Ay, ay, ay. Nanoma, Shata, Ikaluba, Osiapa, Reketuba, Zani, Anana. Ika Luka Luka, the glory of Logos, the glory of Logos is back now by the word of God. Is back now. We are not a couple. We are the carriers of the glory. We are the carriers of power. We are the carriers of anointing. Thou power of God, thou glory of God, rest upon us. In Jesus' name. Amen. They say they will call you Zion that no one sees. Zion, everybody in our church, all of a sudden. In our physically, Zion would be the reason why Palestinian and that's why they are dragging Jerusalem. That's where Zion is. That's why the people of Israel are called Zionites. That's why they are still fighting for the reason that the people of Israel, that the America, Trump brought the, what do you call it, the headquarters of Israel from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. All of them are claiming Jerusalem as headquarters. Even the hidden, even the people from the other side, even the people that don't believe, you know, that we are not having the same faith, they are still dragging Jerusalem. That is the war of Middle East that has started ages from Abinishu. Are you getting me? Up till now, the fight is still on. Because the people of Israel were told to kill all the inhabitants of Canaan, all the Canaanites, as they landed into the land of Israel. Some of you, like I said before, you want to keep some choices, people. You say, Only I will my friend, also my friend. Because when it can happen, only I need to go, can do see by the side. It is an enemy that you're keeping for the future. Are you getting me? Some of you, that man you are training now, you are raising now, will be the, uh, the architect of your defeat tomorrow. Yes. If your eyes are not open to see the people around you, how to work with them. Zion and Achacho, Achacho CK. Cass is in a nobody seeks Zion. It will say, Name me, you see, oh, those days on the Medai guy, those days. If I had a coin born, if it happened before, it will happen continually. Amen. Am I talking to somebody now? Yes, sir. You know that profile? Yes, sir. If I had a coin born, I would name where you watch, and then you know where you go. A practical family where you go. Image after everything. If I had a coin born, if you were celebrated before, you'll be celebrated again. Amen. And now is the time. Amen. Hey! I, I, I got confidence in you. 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 Hey! I got confidence in you. 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 Any day, any time. I got confidence in you. I got confidence in you. I got confidence in you. Jesus. I got confidence. Everybody join me here now. Hallelujah. I got confidence in you, Jesus. Jehovah is 
the name above all the names. Jehovah. Jehovah Shammah, you are name above all of the names. Jehovah. It's a name above all the names. Jehovah. Mighty man in battle is the name above all the names. Jehovah. It's a name above all the names. Jehovah. Wave your hands, I want to close now. Jehovah, you are a name above all other names. Jehovah, it's a name above all other names. Jehovah, sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, how wonderful you are. You are precious than the morning star. You are precious, most precious, the Lord of the new way. You are precious, most precious, my God. Si ne ke ime re di mau, ime re di mau, o pato biendi so, o so ka yeru mau, o so pia ta pia ta no go, o lo iye lo ni mau, o lo iye biari lo mu, o lo iye biari do bu mu, Jehovah Shama mu, o bala ti to bu bu mu, ti ke na di ma. O so pia na tu mu mu, o lo iye biari lo mu, o lo iye biari do bu mu, si ke mbo ti, o ka yo me, o bu ta ra paro fe, o ju 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 de mu, si ne ke mbo ti, o ya koro ya bi be ya, o ya koro ya kori be ya, o ya koro ya bi be ya o, o tu bi ka mo bi la zo, i me re di mu ma o, i me re di ma o, i me re di ma o. He made it in my own. He made it in my own. He made it in my own. He made us up with a bow. What I said is a bow. If you predict it, we can be good. You can't tell me the job I mean. I saw that to me. Whatever me has to say, man. Oh, don't go. 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 Oh, don
news several days, and I've got to see most times when they say Abba is under attack. Abba is under attack now. You go to the news internet, you know they get news faster than newspaper. They will say Abba is under attack. Look at what some of us who are living in Abba will not even know that such a thing is happening. It is by the time we see it on the net that we understand. On the media, we now understand that something is really happening in Abba so that we can take cover. There are times that some cities, some nations, some regions, are you getting me? Some geographical locations are under attack. And as I'm talking to you now, there is peace on this side of the world. And on the side of our enemies, they are under attack. Bombers are bombing those places. Heavily bombers are, are on their rampage. They can't escape it. Put your hand in your pocket. Raise a seed. A, substance, a major seed. Raise it up. I want to speak over it. Every blessing of Bishop Riggs must come your way. Amen. And every blessing we are praying here today Amen. shall be your portion during the course Amen. of Bishop Riggs. Every devils that were put in bondage, they will not recognize you until Bishop Riggs is over. Amen. By the time they will see you, they will see you in a higher dimension. Amen. They will be bowing down. Amen. They will be bowing down. Amen. Lift it up. Read, lift it up. Chinekenam, chinekenam, 